I think a lot of Montrealers want a government that will solve the housing crisis. I think a lot of Montrealers want a government that will develop public transit in Montreal and, and solve the climate crisis. And on those issues, who has done the job as an opposition party in the last four years? I think it is Quebec Solidaire. We have shown to Montrealers we're ready to fight for those priorities. I think those priorities are the priorities of a lot of people in Montreal. And we will do them, we will do that while protecting the rights of everyone. We will change what is problematic inside Bill 96. We will also make sure everyone can teach in our schools in Quebec. So I think we have a plan that can work for Quebecers, for Montrealers. It's a vision of Quebec where everyone has a place. Um, they can trust us to build a Quebec that leaves no one behind. We need to help everyone because a lot of people are challenged by that inflation crisis. The first thing we want to do is a temporary suspension of the sale tax in Quebec to make sure people are not taxed on the essential goods. So we're going to lift temporarily the sales tax on essential goods. For an average family in Quebec, we're talking about an economy of more than a thousand dollars per year. So it is really going to help ordinary families on an everyday basis. That's what we need to do right now. But we also need to solve one of the root causes of the crisis of the cost of living, which is the housing crisis. Because the first line in the budget of everyone in Montreal, whatever we're you know, a homeowner or a, um, someone that is renting an apartment, the first line in all our budgets is the rent or the home. We need to solve the housing crisis and we won't solve the cost of living crisis if we don't solve that housing crisis. We have, I'm confident of this, the best plan and the best team to solve the housing crisis and we will do it um, as fast as we can as soon as we get elected. You know, uh, when I meet people in Montreal and across Quebec, people are telling me we're ready to change some things in our habits. We're ready to, to, to to do more ecological choices. The problem is that too often those choices don't exist <laughs> because governments of the past decades have abandoned people. It's true in terms of transport. A lot of people would be ready to leave the car at home maybe once, twice or three times a week. But if they have no alternative to their car, it's normal that they keep using their car. Same thing if they want to change their um, their heating unit at home. If there is no government program to help people do those choices, the habits will be slow to change. I think people are ready for a change and what the governments need to do is give them the possibility to do those changes. Best example is transport. We have a huge plan to make those choices possible for Montrealers. And my message for a lot of people in Montreal is, you know, who do you trust to to, to deliver on the housing crisis? Who do you trust to deliver on climate change? Who has shown that we're ready to fight on those key issues for Montreal? I think Quebec Solidar's team has shown that we're ready to take the next step. Uh, a lot of people in Montreal want change. Um, and I think in 2022, the, the progressive alternative to the Coalition Avenir Quebec, it's more clear than ever, is Quebec Solidar.